Oh, this is Robert with Campcraft Self-Reliance. How you guys doing today? Um, picked up this trailer earlier this year and uh, going to do some little bit of fix up. I got a good deal on it. So let's look it over and uh, we're going to get some tires put on it today. Stick with us. All right, here we got a uh, manufactured uh, livestock trailer. This is something we've needed on the homestead here for a while. We haven't been able to move anything around or go purchase anything and bring it home. We always had to have somebody else do it and, and stuff. But we got a gooseneck model. Uh, fits on my truck and it'll fit on this other truck that, we'll, that we're building. And uh, it's got the front, front door. And I've been kind of lubing some stuff up. This thing's got the original bias ply tires on it. When I bought the trailer, two two new tires and rims came with it uh, down there. And then we've gone and picked up two more. Tried to match them up the best we can. They're not the they're not exact match, and they're not a match tire. Uh, tire. So we're going to put a pair pair of tires that uh, were bought together on one side and a pair of tires together that was on the other side. It'll still have four new tires on it um, and new rims and stuff. So as we do kind of stuff like that, we're going to uh, check the wheel bearings, make sure they're good to go. Um, here we got a spare tire rack. We'll probably take one of these tires. It's not recommended to pull the trailer or anything with a uh, um, mixing bias ply tires and radial tires but if right now I don't have an extra radial tire for a spare so we'll be throwing one of these on on there um, if it's round and holds air and you're just trying to get to uh, somewhere to fix it that'll be the ticket um, previous owner put on some new fancy LED lights um, when I pulled this home it um, blew a fuse on the left turn signal so I got a short somewhere that I got to find but on the back here we have a, uh, a pin with a see if I can get this working one-handed here with a uh, single single sliding door but it also has the ability one-handed here guys sorry pull the pin flip that out and the whole back end opens up um, I believe this is 20 feet long uh, I got to clean it out we had some goats in here for a bit um, just giving them housing and stuff but then also out here we have a divider wall um, you reach reach through I believe up here pull the lever that swings out of the way and gives you full access and something I like up here with the goosenecks you get this extra storage up here I got a couple of doors and this is the storage area uh, typically they'd put hay and stuff up here uh, we had a couple of kids up here and I've been storing the hay out of the weather up here right for right now and then it brings you back to the front door here so uh, gives you a tour it's a little surface rust, but really no, no rust um, anywhere else. It's got an oak plank flooring. Um, seems to be in good shape. There's no soft spots. There's no wiggles. This floor is solid. Um, I did notice up here, before we get going, we have a support brace for the roof um, that's cracked right here, and I need to jam that up there and probably take the welder and put a couple of tacks there. Um, Looks like maybe another one here, so we'll uh, we'll address them issues, and then get uh, find the short, get some uh, lights on it. Excuse me. And uh, so right now we're gonna change some tires. Oh well, guys, I got these new tires put on here. Checked out the wheel bearings and few things real quick uh, took the best 
tire that was originally on there and put it in the spare tire rack and got this thing one step closer to getting it ready to go um, we're also going to be using this for going back and forth to our property in Kentucky um, figure it'd be a good place to throw some tools and maybe a tractor and an ATV or two while we're traveling and it'd be all enclosed instead of pulling the big trailer all the time so we'll be working on this off and on we gotta look it over some lights and and uh, um, I don't like the way they have this uh, landing gear system set up so we're gonna be putting a uh, different landing gear on there um, to get this hooked up and unhooked from the truck and trailer so or the truck get it hooked up to the truck all right guys we'll catch you later